Next up, we're going to talk about the indeterminate difference, which takes the form infinity divide, oh, excuse me, infinity minus infinity. So this usually tends to happen when you wind up with a couple of fractions that are being either added or subtracted, and it usually happens because you have a 1 over 0 minus 1 over 0, or something along those lines. Uh, an example of one such thing, uh, we could see something of the form the limit as x goes to pi over 2 of the secant of x minus the tangent of x. Now, the reason I'm pointing this out is because we have a couple of um, identities that we can use for these trig functions. Secant of x, if we apply the reciprocal identity, would be 1 over the cosine of x, and the tangent would be referred to as the sine of x over the cosine of x. If we attempted to use the direct substitution property by plugging in pi over 2, you would wind up with 1 divided by 0 minus 1 divided by 0. Now the typical strategy for something along these lines is to establish a common denominator for them. Anytime you have a fraction minus another fraction, we can turn it into a single fraction where we can use L'Hopital's rule by establishing that lowest common denominator. For example, in our previous example, they already have a common denominator, and as such, you can just go ahead and combine them into one single fraction to begin with. As soon as you've done this, if you attempt to use the direct substitution property once more, your numerator is going to be 1 minus 1, and your denominator is going to be 0. Once in this form, you are allowed to use L'Hopital's rule, and using L'Hopital's rule would give you the following limit as x approaches pi over 2 of the derivative of the numerator, uh, 1 goes to 0, negative sine of x would become at negative cosine of x, and cosine of x in the denominator would become the negative sine of x. If at this point you attempt to use the direct substitution property, your numerator is going to be negative, cosine of pi over 2 is 0, and the sine of pi over 2 is negative 1. Final answer for this one would be 0. Hey, baby. I came over to say hello.